This tutorial covers making a native Windows library for Kotlin multi-platform. Using IntelliJ, we're going to create a new Kotlin project. I'm calling my project oplibdemo. I'm using the Coretel 17 JDK. The version is probably not important. And if you don't know, Coretel is just the Amazon, the AWS version of Java. So let's just create our project here and get started. What we're trying to do here is get more familiar with Kotlin multi-platform, especially for a Windows desktop target. And the way we're going to do that is to create a native library and have a small C program to test it. Under the source folder, we're going to create another folder called native main, where the M is capitalized. And in native main, we're going to create the subfolder called Kotlin. So inside of this nested structure, source, native main, Kotlin, we're going to create another file called opdemo.kt. In the opdemo.kt, we'll have some simple code which will function as a library that will then export to a native Windows library. To make the tutorial quicker, we're just going to use some sample code from the Kotlin tutorial from the main Kotlin site. Uh, this is just a class and a, some functions. I'll have a link to the GitHub repository in the video description, as well as a link to the Kotlin tutorial from the official Kotlin site. I'm going to call my package oplibdemo. And we're done with our Kotlin code. The build.gradle.kts file is where you specify the library platform that you want to compile to. I'm again going to start with the code from the Kotlin official tutorial on their site. And I'm only building for Windows, so I'm going to get rid of the rest of the build for the other platforms. And on Windows, the base name is libnative. And you can see here that the build.gradle.kts is quite short. I'm going to sync it. And if you look in the lower right hand side, you can see that it's downloading some packages. So let's just wait until everything has finished downloading. Uh, you can see that right now, before it's downloaded, some of the Ming WX64, uh, these things were red. But after the download, they're, they're not red and there's no errors. We're going to use Gradle, link native. So from the root of your project, there should be a pre-made Gradle W file. Then run that with the, uh, after that, link native with a capital N. It takes a while for the first time. After that, the build is faster. Okay, uh, that's it. So once the build completes, we'll have our Kotlin library. You should see this beautiful green build successful. And now we can use our library in a C program. So again, I'm on Windows. Uh, so I'll be compiling it on Windows and I'll build a small C program to test the library. So off of the root folder, I'm going to build a subfolder demos C. So if we want to have more demos in this practice in the future, uh, we could create subdirectories uh, under the demos. I'm going to copy the library from the build bin native debug shared folder off of the root. The build folder is not on GitHub, so you have to build it on your local system and then once you build it you can then get the the library files in the debug shared folder create a new file main.c i'm going to start off with the same code from the tutorial and then i'll modify it later uh, so the tutorial has the root dot example here and i'm going to have to change that i'm going to use the x64 native tools command prompt which is 
came with Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code. So make sure that if you have Visual Studio installed, uh, you install the C++ uh, workspace, and then you'll get this x64 uh, native tools. Although it looks like a command prompt, it's a different application that has been run in the command prompt to get the access to the tool. So let's change it in, into the directory. So remember, I'm in this x64 native tools from Visual Studio C and C++ workspace. Uh, then you find your main.c file. We're going to use this uh, application, a little utility called lib. The lib is only going to exist if you, again, installed Visual Studio with a C, C++ workspace. So the uh, syntax is lib slash def colon lib native dot def and then slash out colon lib native dot lib. So there should be no errors. Uh, There's just a warning about I didn't specify x64. So the starter tutorial code had root dot example and my package is named op lib demo. So I'm going to change it um, from example to op lib demo. It should be after root. So that one on line 13 is an error and I'll have to fix it. Um, so it should be root dot op lib demo for that one too. Okay, that one I caught. Okay, so on line 13 now, it's root.oplibdemo, and then on line 18, it's libnative underscore kref underscore oplibdemo underscore class. And after that, it's root.oplibdemo. So just make sure that you have these couple of changes in. Okay, so let's go back to our little uh, x64 this is the tool from Visual Studio and we're going to compile it CL the main.c and the lib native library uh, no errors so now let's go back to in this case it's PowerShell so we'll go back to some type of command prompt or PowerShell to run the main.exe and yeah it's running all right so we built a library all right, congratulations. We're going to go inside the class, class, and we'll create another method here, a new one, so we get some additional practice on using this Kotlin multiplier from library. So this is the Kotlin code. We're going to call it Craig method greeting because it's within the class. Uh, it's going to return a string. And let's just put some type of greeting here so that you know, it's pretty obvious that we've made some modification to our code. Aloha from Craig. And it's coming from inside the, the methods coming inside of the class. All right, we are rocking and rolling. So I'm going to use the Gradle lib uh, link native again to uh, transform that uh, Kotlin code. And it's running smoothly here. And eventually it says build successful. That beautiful green, all caps. Then uh, we're gonna, for simplicity, I think I'll just copy it. The, the, the ones that's in the debug uh, folder, I'm gonna copy it into the demo folder. Uh, this is just a demonstration of how the, the files are structured and uh, so we get some practice. This isn't actually how you would do the actual development. So it's actually fairly satisfying to make these small edits to the Kotlin code. And then I'm going to run the lib, same thing. Lib. 
And then once we have the new libnative.lib, we'll compile it. So we want to test the library. And we're going to go back to our mini C program here. And we'll access that method. I'll store it at Craig Greeting. And then we'll access it from the Kotlin dot root dot app lib demo app lib demo dot class dot craig and i'm going to forget to pass it the new instance and i think i forgot the name of the method here so the the name of the method from the kotlin that i defined there is craig method greeting and i need to pass it new instance when i forgot so i'm going to have a problem but then i'll go back and fix it and we can print out the um, the greeting, which is coming from that method that we just made in the Kotlin file. So we'll just create a print f statement, and we'll pass it the string that we'll be using here. And back on the line where I call the method, we'll just pass it new instance. So back in the x64 tool, we'll build it uh, again. And then we'll, on the PowerShell or command prompt, I'll go back into the directory where I have the executable that we just built and I'll run it again. Boom. Beautiful. Congratulations. You're a Kotlin multi-platform programmer.